dear students here we have a very significant question under the topic pert analysis so the question is what are the main assumptions under pert computations so there are two main assumptions under pert computations let us see one by one now the first assumption under pert computation is that the activity durations are independent so we know the, we have activity durations those activity durations are independent that is the time required to complete an activity will have no bearing on the completion times of another any other activity of the project but in job sequencing we know that the completion of one job depends upon the completion time estimate of the other job whereas here the main assumption is that the activity durations the activity that is the time taken to complete one activity does not bother the time taken to complete the other activity so when they don't bother each other definitely they are independent therefore the activity durations are independent that is the time required to complete an activity will have no bearing on the completion times of any other activity of the project the second assumption is that so that is the activity durations follow beta distribution we all know that in pert analysis the activity durations are probabilistic in nature so now it follows the beta distribution so what is this beta distribution it is a probability distribution with density function k multiplied with t minus a the whole power alpha multiplied with b minus t whole power beta and the mean of beta distribution is te equal to that is the expected time duration is equal to 1 by 3 multiplied with 2 tm plus 1 by 2 multiplied with t not minus tp where t i mean to to stands for optimistic time tp stands stands for pessimistic time and tm stands for most likely time and the standard deviation is given by sigma t which is equal to 